Okay, as you can see, for the first time in quite a long time, I'm making a motorcycle vlog. I don't think this camera is very good with the audio, but it's uh, probably acceptable. It was just the fastest one that I could put in my helmet. Just a little uh, Polaroid cube. But yeah, up ahead is my grandson. He's got his learner's permit. Uh, has a uh, motorcycle. It's pretty much identical to mine. Another Triumph America. This is like two or three years newer. And uh, we're working on teaching him to ride. So we're going to first make a gas stop. And then after that he's just going to do some regular road practice. We've been doing cones and different maneuvers to be able to pass the driver's test maybe in about a month or so. It's still a little bit cold and rainy for them to give the test out I think. It's even in April, it's not quite April yet but even in April it's kind of dicey as to whether if you show up on a Saturday they'll give motorcycle tests or not. But pretty much by May if the weather's decent and it's dry especially on Saturdays that ends up being a good day to take your test. So yeah, I'd, uh, I haven't been filming up until now because when I'm teaching somebody to ride, I don't like to film when I need to pay attention to what they're doing, at least until I feel kind of confident with them a little more. And he's been doing a pretty good job now, I mean, I'm sure once in a while he dumps the clutch and stalls the bike, but it's very rare now compared to when he started. And who can say even as an experienced rider, there's always a few times a year I do it myself, so. But the main thing is he doesn't do anything crazy or unsafe. That's the thing I basically look for is that whatever he does, it doesn't put him in danger of getting hurt real bad. And he's been good with that so far. So, okay, I guess this is the gas station he's going to pick, so. I think I'll shut the camera off here and maybe resume when we get on the road. in my video he's got a little bit louder pipes than on mine he had uh, aftermarket pipes put on it or I think they were on the bike when he bought it so he started out with his Harley Street 700 I think it was and uh, he had me try it out for a bit too just to see what I thought and I didn't really think it was a great learner's bike it just didn't seem to handle as good as I would like and I mean that's compared to a Made in USA Harley. This was a Made in India Harley. I guess the 700s are according to what I heard. But it just, uh, the shifting, the mechanism and everything just seemed way more sloppy than I thought should be for somebody to use as their first learning bike. Um, this one isn't even an excellent one I would say. This is probably a good second bike but he seems to want to take the challenge of doing the test with it. It's doable. It just takes a little bit more effort. Back when I had my Vulcan 500, a lot of my friends used that to take the test on because it was like a, a sweet bike to do cones and stuff like that. It was um, not neutral handling at all. It was kind of a little bit more self-balancing, a smaller wheelbase, kind of probably about half the amount of practice to get through the cones that you would need with a bike like this. But what the heck, I've seen people in full-size Harleys take the test and pass it. Just, just the, amount of, the amount of practice you want to put into it and the amount of effort. So anyway, he's got, up until about the end of May, to get his license at least from what I hear because I think he's going to go in early June although there's not a set date yet I think in early June he's going into the Navy so I think it's pretty likely he'll still stay near home for part of his training at the Great Lakes Naval Center so 
we'll just be on the other side of O'Hare Airport and near downtown Chicago doing this training. Then after that, who knows? I might be out in San Diego or something like that. It seems like a lot of my Navy friends end up out in San Diego. But good career to start with, a lot of skills he can learn. I told him to try to, I think the job he's gonna do is uh, the Navy's equivalent to an MP. So he wants to go in law enforcement. But I told him while you're in service anyway, get all the skills you possibly can. If you can find somebody to teach you mechanics, welding, um, electrical, plumbing, any, anything you can learn. I mean, you'll have guys around you that have a lot of knowledge in a lot of different areas. And that's your chance while you're in service and they're paying you to work for you to pick up skills like that. Uh, how about that? It's going to stay. This is usually a pretty short light. Anyway, I just told him today, instead of uh, before I would lead the way for most of it, I just told him to wander around until you're tired of riding, and then we'll go back home after that. So that's going to be the thing for today. Hey, pretty good you remember to turn off his turn signal, too. That's another thing about new riders. Well, I even, once in a while, do it myself, too, the new riders, leaving their turn signal blinking, especially if you don't have a a loud beep to let you know that it's blinking. Oh my gosh, gas just jumps up and down 10 cents at a time. It's like, it was 265 a couple of days ago, now it's back up to 279. That uh, 277 is kind of like a, a little trick there, that's through that 15 gas. I don't put that 15 gas in my car. It's bad enough to deal with 10, 10% 10 ethanol. Yeah, it's not unusual in the average week now to have gas jump 10 cents and go fall back 10 cents. But it's managed for a long time now to stay below $3, so that's a good thing. Actually, last summer, for a short period of time, it dropped just below $2 a gallon. We had $1.99, $1.98 gas, but just for a real short period of time. Then it went back to the regular price. So anyway, I thought I'd just take you guys along with me for a little bit of the ride with my grandson. See where he wants to go. Okay, I guess we're headed into downtown of a little town near here. That's good. Keep it on the slow side and away from the highway and out of heavy traffic. So talk to you guys later. Take care.